productive, creative, and positive greetings to you all. This is Sherelle J with a follow-up tutorial. Many of you have viewed my glitter effect tutorial and have some questions about how to add text, how to add different colors, so that's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned. So we're going to start off with those three glitter layers that we worked on in our previous tutorial. And what we're going to do is we're going to select those three glitter base layers and we're going to pre-compose them. So to pre-compose them, we're going to select all three layers and hit Command Shift D. Now we're going to name this new composition Glitter Base. This is going to serve as the glitter base for our project. Next we're going to add a background layer. We're going to take the black background layer and move it below our glitter layer. Next we're going to create a text layer. So you can see the text size listed to the right. I used a font size of about 241 pixels and I chose Helvetica text for mine but of course you can use whatever text you would like and whatever font you would like. Make sure that the track mat mode is available. If you don't see the track mat mode available, you can click on the column section in your timeline and select modes. Now going to our glitter base layer, we're going to change the track mat mode to alpha mat. And you will immediately see that our glitter layer is now confined to our text layer. Now going to our effects and presets, we're going to add a tritone effect to our glitter base. Let's change the midtone of the effect to blue, and we're going to change our shadow to a dark bluish black. going to change our highlight to a bluish white. Now we can see that our glitter layer is a really pretty bluish color. I prefer to use a gradient to add color to my projects and effects. So just to show you how to do that, I'm going to delete the tritone effect that we just did and I'm going to go down under effects and presets to four color gradient. I'm going to add the four color gradient to our glitter base and I'm going to set the blending mode here on the, on the top to soft light and you can see that immediately now our glitter comes through. Now let's change the colors on our four color gradient. So now just by adding a gradient, we've been able to add an even deeper color and variety to our glittery text option. If we also add a gradient to our background, it will add a dimension to our effect as well. So to add that effect that we saw at the beginning, we're going to actually refine the matte on our text layer. So let's select our party text layer that we created and add the effect Refine Hard Matte, which can be found under Effects and Presets. 
so it's under matte. Now we'll adjust and add a keyframe to the feather. And I'm gonna to go to the end of the timeline panel and add a keyframe. Going to easy ease the keyframes to make our effect look smoother. Now let's render our effect. So as you can see, we were able to add color to our text and our glitter. And we were also able to refine that matte so that it looks as if it was emerging from the background. And we also added a ramp to our background. I also appreciate it when you guys tag me in some of your posts and let me see some of the creations that you've created. So feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and tag me in some of your creations and let me see what you guys thought and how you guys utilized my tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, once again, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe and look out for next month's tutorial.